Hi everyone, my name is Kate Uveling and I work to build relationships with SaaS users around the globe. Thank you so much for tuning into Learn to Play and Play to Learn with SaaS Via. At SaaS, we believe gamification helps customers apply and advance machine learning skills in a fun, hands-on environment. I mean, come on, who doesn't love a little friendly competition? Over the past month, a group of SaaS customers have spent their time playing Cortex, an online analytics simulation game. This hackathon in a box type game challenges players to build predictive models for a distinct scenario that they're assigned to. In this case, our customers acted as data scientists for a nonprofit, tasked to build predictive models to determine contact techniques in a fundraising campaign. When you join the game, you're geared up with a data set, a case study, access to SaaS software in the cloud, video tutorials and step-by-step -step guides, your own virtual leaderboard, and opportunities to work with live SaaS instructors. Without any further ado, let's speak to the customers, or should I say players, now to learn how they rose to the top of the Cortex leaderboard and gain confidence using SaaS Via along the way. Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us for this SaaS Explorer segment. I love it if you could go around and share your name, your company, and your role. Hi everyone, my name is Ethan. I'm biostatistician from the Sanofi and I'm working for the Department of the Statistics and the Stability. Nice to see you. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Roberto Torres. Uh, I currently work at Certigi. Uh, my position is data scientist. Well, I'd love to have you both elaborate a little bit more on this scenario in the case study that you were assigned. Well, okay, so this is very interesting of the game. So for this game, we're trying to be mimic about the real life. So we're working from the nonprofit organization. We're trying to be make a project, trying to be given a course to the contributors based on their previous about their behavior and also the data. So our object is very easy and all very clear. So we would like to raise as much of the money as possible and also considering the cost. So the, the final of the result is like a, who just raised the most of the money and who is a winner. Yeah, and I think for, for the, after identifying the, the people who were going to donate, uh, the second part was now from this po uh, population, uh, can we predict the amount that they are going to give in order to better optimize the net profits that we can get from this? All right, thank you so much. So I understand this was both of your first times using SaaS Bio, which we are so excited about. But first, let's back it up for a second. I wanna know how long have you two been using SaaS in general? And what type of machine learning experience did you have coming into this game of Cortex? I'm the user for the SaaS for the more than 15 years. I did have some of the limited of the experience and knowledge about like the machine learning, but I do not have the using it for a long time. And I also have very limited background for that. Yes, uh, during my master's program, uh, I use SaaS uh, for the whole program. That's the one that was provided. I learned a lot in it. Uh, prior to these, I had some machine learning experience that I never had used um, Baya before. All right, great. So we got 15 years in master's program. That is awesome. And what version of SAS do you both use now? Currently, I'm using the SAS version 9.4. Yeah, I'm using 9.4, uh, but I'm putting all my efforts in, in moving on to using uh, SAS via and continue that route. Uh, for the meantime. All right, great. Thank you so much. That's awesome to hear. So this next question is all about expectations. What was your expectation for this game and using SAS Via, and did your experience meet those expectations? Well, my expectation from this game is actually first, I want to be get used to the, the SAS Via. I just trying to be using this one to get familiar with that. Another one is just like trying to be build up a lot of the competitive models and choosing the really jumping from them. So I think through this game, I really get, and sometimes I can beyond my expectation. I did a very good result from it. My expectations for the game, I wanted to be able to um, 
create different models uh, and compare them. And so to learn if there is any easy way to, to create that. And yeah, it met my expectation in that matter. Uh, I was able to, to create different pipelines from the same data set. And yeah, uh, that helped me a lot. All right, I'm glad to hear that. How did you apply machine learning techniques in the game and were you able to use new techniques in the game to improve your skills? Okay, so I think from these games, I just using the 70% of the uh, the history data to build the model, then I just did to just running this one to looking for what is a championship. Then I feed the models with the real data, then I'm looking for what is the final result coming from this of the model. Then sometimes I need to tune up the models. And I think this basic is some ways I just increase, uh, improve the models and also get a good, good result from this uh, machine learning of the technology. Uh, for me, um, I was able to uh, create uh, pre-processing before running any of the machine learnings that were in the game. Uh, manipulate and modify the different parameters uh, in there. Um, it did help me to improve my skills in the matter of uh, tweaking each of the models and see how it changed the results and how we can implement like different like secondary models into it. All right, great, thank you. So you both kicked us off by telling us what you do in your day-to-day -day work. And I wanted to know how can you see VIA making your job easier? Oh, I think this is very good of the of the software or the platform I can use it for my work. So I think first it's very neat interface and also the integrated of the platform, should I say that? So I can just uh, to put all the uh, history data and generate of the one of the platform and also just uh, uh, feed them the history, history data, but also the real data. And then I can get the response very quickly and I can get my customer very quickly. I think it is very useful. Uh, something that I see via helping me a lot on, uh, I have to work on creating uh, different models uh, from different vendors that we work on. So having multiple type of models and not every model works with the same uh, customer. So with this one will let me uh, the way that it's set up the build the model builder i can run many different models uh and choose the ones that are working better so to further, further tweak it and create secondary model for that um yeah i see definitely these making my life easier in the future well fantastic i'm so glad to hear that and glad to see that you're finding these features helpful and can expedite some of those processes in your day-to-day -day work. So these next two questions are for Yi specifically. Yi, congratulations, you were the winner. What features did you use in round two to help you with more complex modeling? Okay, so in the round two, I try to be improve about the performance of the model because compared to the, the round one. So there is a two phases of the round two. The first, I just uh, to just uh, do do some of the two of the models, setting up some parameters and looking for the performance of the different of the models. And it really helps because previously my championship is a, a forest, but then later it's a GM model is actually my final of the model. And then I feed the data and uh, looking for using the different uh, lift ups and I also set up a lot of the different parameters and compare the result. So. Um, after a lot of the trials, I think I did get some relatively good result coming from the round two. Great, thank you so much. And I know we just learned about how VIA could expedite some of the processes in your job, but what benefits would VIA bring to your entire organization? I think the most uh, good feature for this is integrated function. So first, I can, we can just like the group, we can generate one of the platforms. So each one can contribute to the final of the result. Then the interface is very good. So everybody can just learn and also see what the progress of the current of the, you know, the project. And then 
we get the result very quickly and everybody gets this consistent of the result across all the different, you know, from different across a lot of the group members. So then we, everybody have the, at the same boat. So we can just get the result very quickly and very actively to contribute to the final model. All right, thanks so much. So you were both new to SAS VIA, like I'd mentioned before. What was your favorite feature in VIA? My favorite uh, feature for VIA is actually, is a, is a flow chart they generate automatically for me because previously I need to generate it by myself, but I think that is a very good feature and also very neat interface. I'm very good, I very like it. Yeah, so uh, I, I really like the pipeline um, interface that was provided. Uh, you could see the whole pipeline from, from start to finish, uh, the data, how the data flow. Uh, and another, like a second feature I like is how um, you can auto-tune the models and that, that really helps. It has some parameters that you can modify to make it more accurate. But yeah, I will say, I know that's two features but those are the tools that I use most. All right, that's great. Two's better than one, so I'm glad that you found those helpful. Roberto, this question is just for you, and I was curious if there's anything that you learned from the game that you can implement immediately. Yes, uh, so the way that the game works, uh, it was to, to at, at, the, uh, at the round two, we used two models. Uh, the, the secondary model was based on the first one. Uh, that's something that I didn't know I could, like how to do it. And after this game, I am currently working in implementing something really similar on creating a secondary model. All right, fantastic. Well, last question for you two wonderful gentlemen. What did you think of this new learning format? a hybrid approach with digital tools and live instructor time with these elements of gamification. Oh, I really like this hybrid of the method to learning the stuff. So we have the digital tools. Um, I use that one as a pre of the class. So I learned a lot of the fundamental stuff before the class, but also we have the real of the instructor instruction. So they, all the instructor is very experienced, so I can learn a lot of the things from the from instructions, but also after the class, I can ask the questions and get the feedback from the instructor, so they're very helpful. Yeah, I, I do really like the hybrid approach. Uh, I love the instructions. Uh, I felt it took me a few minutes to, while I was waiting for the, for the virtual machine to start. And that improved the time that, that I had to use for, for playing the, the game. The instructor time, I really like how like they provided examples. In overall, I'll say it was really nice. Uh, it, it made good use of my time when, while playing the game. Well, thank you both so much. I'm so glad that you found this game helpful. And it sounds like you'll use it to speed up processes in your day-to-day -day work and cross-collaborate with different parts of your organization. So thank you all for playing Cortex and getting to know Sasfaya. We had fun throughout the game and hope that you did too. If you'd like more information on Cortex or a demo of Sasfaya, please check out www.sas.com slash explore Cortex. Thanks everyone.